In 2021, nearly half of the U.S. adult population suffer from knee osteoarthritis, a chronic degenerative joint disease. Diagnosing and then monitoring such chronic disease is challenging because it requires clinicians to process a long series of data with different formats, quality, and frequency. On the screen is an example 24-month medical history of a patient at risk with four different medical data groups, MRI, X-ray, lab test, and uh, wearable track activity counts. At the top, MRI is obviously the most reliable information, but expensive and time-consuming, so can only be done once a year. At the bottom is wearable track activity counts and frequency. Less indicative, but can be collected at a much higher frequency rate. Given a 23-month history of different medical data groups as demonstrated on the screen, how can we help doctors and patients predict whether the patient's knee pain progresses to a certain extent that require medical, medical intervention? That is the type of questions that my research aims to address. My research will use machine learning to capture the relationship between infrequent, high-quality data like MRI and frequent self-reported data like wearable track activity counts and leverage that relationship in forecasting the progression of a patient chronic condition. At first, my research will focus on knee osteoarthritis as an example and will then expand to a variety of chronic conditions like diabetes and irritable bowel syndrome. Most studies so far have focused on building the best predictive model using all available medical data groups, but few address the question of how to best combine them and how to use their relationship in the past to predict at the absence of one medical data group at present. To illustrate, let's come back to the example on the screen. At month 24, I only have lab tests and activity history of the past 12 months, not MRIs. However, two patients with similar activity patterns but different past MRI should have different progression of knee osteoarthritis. Understanding the patient-specific relationship between MRIs and activity patterns in the first 12 months will be useful in this case. Teaching the machine how to learn how, uh, how different medical data groups interact with each other and how to use it in disease forecasting will help doctors and patients monitor chronic health more easily and more cost-effectively. Thank you.